what is process technology? And what does a process technician do? We're the team that keeps the big multi-billion dollar plants running efficiently, safely, and environmentally friendly. We convert raw materials into things we use every day. We work with cutting edge technology to control and monitor complex manufacturing processes. We are really leading the industry uh, with, with technology. Uh, just take for instance five years ago, there was a, there was a big challenge to drill a well in, in uh, you know, 3,000 feet of water. And here we are sitting in, in 7,000 feet of water drilling wells like, like it's nothing. It's an exciting job and no two days are ever the same. We work rotating shifts, perform a variety of tasks in all kinds of weather, indoors and out. There's no such thing as a typical day working in the um, refining industry. One of the most normal, a few of the most normal things we do, we come in and we make relief, which is the, the leaving shift to tell you everything that happened for the day and what to expect for your day. But that's where it stops as far as being normal because at any given moment, something can happen. So you're just being prepared for whatever comes up. It's a great job. The pay and the benefits are awesome. And there's always something new to learn. Here as my job as a process technician, I, I'm working with a lot of people, smart people. Um, I'm learning a whole lot. Um, it's just so much here to learn as far as um, the process itself. Um, at first when I started, I thought about, wow, I'm the only female on this, on this shift. Actually, I think it's a total of three females total in the, as operators in the, uh, in the plant. But me being the only one on the shift, um, I wondered about it. But when I say we're family, we're truly family, anything I need help with, they're there. Um, anything they need help with, I'm there. Um, I uh, currently work a total of 14 days a month. Um, anything over that is overtime. Um, I work 12 hours, which are long hours, but the amount of time I have off, you just can't beat it. Um, it's, five, it's seven days, seven nights a month. Uh, I was an infantryman in the Marine Corps for four years, and uh, you can burn out on that pretty fast. It's, it's a rough life, it's hard on the body. Didn't see myself doing it for 20 years. So, got out, joined the Louisiana Army National Guard, because uh, they uh, make your tuition exemption and, and stay in Louisiana, so I could go to college. That coupled with my GI Bill, I uh, was convinced to go into process uh, plant technology. Three years later, I graduated, May of 1999. Immediately got a job in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. I graduated from high school in 1993 and I went and shuffled from job to job trying to see where I'd be most happy at and I never found anything that I was happy in. Uh, I was doing clerical work making anywhere like $15,000 and now I'm an operator and I make around eighty dollars or $90,000 a year. Whereas I used to live in an apartment and now I own my own home. I own a very nice vehicle. I don't have to worry about money at all. I'm 42 years old right now. Uh, I was born in a small town called Eagle Pass, Texas. And being here at Houston, I was looking for different positions, trying to work on something on, on my career field because my degree is from Florida A&M University in electronic engineering technology. And so about being a year here in Houston, I got a position to work out at NASA, at the Johnson Space Center here in Houston. Uh, worked there for about 13 years. Then my next door neighbor, he said, you know what? Uh, Rocky, he goes, I don't know how much you're actually making there at your business and how much you're actually working at, at NASA, but here, here we are, the month of August, and I'm already at six figures. I'm like, wait up, you're at six years here in the month of August? You still got September, October, November, December to go? And I'm over here thinking to myself, geez, I have a four-year degree, and how old are you? I was asking my friend. He goes, oh, I'm about 25 years old. He goes, wait up, hold on. 
25 years old, you went to two years college, and I asked him, well, what about bonuses? Oh, my bonuses are anywhere between $4,000 to $6,000 a year. It's like, what? It's like, myself, I've been working at NASA for 13 years, and I only had one bonus, and that was for $100. So here, it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what was actually happening. He goes, he's got less schooling than I do. He's not as old as I am, you know, and I've been working on, on this uh, industry for about 13 years, and yet he's making more than what I'm making. And he's only been working on that field for about four or five years. I says, you know what? I told my wife, I got to go back and I got to make a career change. On my 14 days off, I do just about anything I want to. It's fabulous. Uh, I play golf. Uh, I actually run out of things to do. Um, about the 10th, 11th day, I'm ready to go back to work. You just, you know, that's a long time to be off, but it's, it's fabulous. I enjoy it. I like the paychecks. Uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say that. Uh, I enjoy the people that I work with. Uh, I think that I'm on the greatest crew I could be on. All the guys are very helpful. Uh, they're quick to answer any of my questions and they're, they're, they're very eager to help me succeed. Many process technology jobs are in the petrochemical and refining industry, but there are opportunities in other industries like pulp and paper manufacturing, water treatment, power generation, food and beverage processing, and pharmaceuticals. If I hadn't chosen process technology, I really don't know what I would be doing. Maybe nursing, because all of my sisters and my mothers are into nursing. So I guess that, but I'm kind of scared of blood. <laughs> so, If you're a woman coming out of high school, this is definitely the field to go into. And you'll make the money that you need to make really fast. And not be intimidated to just go for it instead of trying to shuffle through different odds and ends jobs because they're not going to lead anywhere. I mean, I live comfortably. It's, it's I don't I don't have to worry about money, and I, I have a, a retirement, a good retirement to look forward to, and I, it's a stress-free life, so to speak. It's defined my lifestyle. It's uh, it's me. I could say right now, at this point in my life, I have never been happier. Where I'm finally where I never thought I would get in life for me and my children. Process technology really is an education that pays. Come on. The lawn lawn mowers for real? Are you kidding me? Pause it. <laughs> we light the way for Santa to come in. Okay. okay. Keep it in mind, we only have 19 minutes of card here. Okay. <laughs> I found out through my barber. That's as exciting as I get. It's a barber. There you go. That's what I want. Barber. Have you seen Dirtiest Jobs? The alligator form? That's where I used to work. Dirty Well, that's a lot of. Yeah. Just big work. He did. <laughs> the vet, the end. I like. <laughs> hey, like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it's a great job. Oh shit! Fly around a lot of water, my man. Yeah, you, you saw that one quick. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, this is the one I like right here. All right, you ready? Oh, shit. <laughs>